Now, as I said before, first of all, before we get started, let me tell you who I am. Kenneth Bird, I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Using smart technology gain, I am the inventor of the Platinum 4K Cinema Screens, the Silver Ultimate 4K Screens. Those are our blackout faults and fixed frame screens, the Fusion Silver, Fusion Black, and the Future Tech 4K. Now, you guys know me for doing extreme and insane demonstrations when it comes to my screens. I don't tippy toe around the work. I don't do that 4K upscaling. I don't do that dark environment, ambient light controlled environment, all that nonsense. And trust me, I've seen demonstrations where people will open up doors and say, hey, look, I have sunlight cascading in. Let me tell you something about sunlight. Whatever sunlight hits, it's going to brighten it. So if your screen is dark and everything around it next to it is well lit, that shows you that the sunlight is not hitting your screen, it's hitting the environment behind your screen to insinuate that the screen is taking on sunlight, but it's not. All right, so the bottom line is, I'm gonna show you how this is done. I'm gonna be taking several screen paints and I'm gonna be actually putting them through insane test along with our screens included. I see people try to test our screens and try to say, hey, look, I did the exact same thing. It's not the exact same thing if you're not under the same scrutinating test that we put our screens through. You gotta do the same thing and put your screen in the same form of demonstrations that we do, but as you can see, some people can't do that, but yet they claim that they can. All right, so let me show you something that you can't follow. Here is a screen we call JMix, which we ordered online. I'm gonna be polite and not gonna say the person's name who this belongs to, but I'm gonna show you the kind of excruciating test we're gonna put your screens through. Now, here's my measuring tape. Let's come all the way up here. And let's come down, let's see, we are 16 feet away, and we're gonna be using a Brookstone 200 lumen pocket projector. 200 lumen pocket projector in a fully lit room. And we're gonna do this video in 720p. Now there's no 1080p, there's no 4K upscaling. Your screen's not gonna have the ability to hide in the dark. It's not gonna have the ability to have any of the advancements that it had in your environment. I'm gonna put you in my environment and show you the brutal testing that our screens had to go through and the reason why they perform on such a high level. Now, 16 feet back on this little tiny projector and it's fully lit environment. Let's see what we get. Let's remove this first. And let's start our demonstration. Now mind you, when I see these demonstrations with these little pocket projectors, the projector is sitting too close on the screen. Not over here, it's not. We got your projector, we got the screen 16, well, we got the projector 16 feet back. And that's the quality of the picture you're actually getting. Now you've seen this done on 50 lumens and you think it looks incredible. Yeah, that's because there's no real light hitting the screen. We got actual light hitting the screen. Now, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go back here to the very beginning again. Pause it there. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over here and grab my 500 watt bar light I have behind here. Oh yeah, I got the 500 watt bar light. And we're gonna put that 500 watt bar light right there. In the center of this screen right there, all right? So now we got it set up. We got the 500 watt bar light. Let's go back. Let's start the demonstration again. This time, with a 500 watt bar light in the middle of the screen. Now you're probably thinking, it's still visible, it looks good, it looks amazing. Hmm. You know, there's a saying that, you know, if you eat garbage, I'm not saying anybody eats garbage, but if you've been eating garbage for like forever, then you're used to eating garbage. If you have anything that tastes a little better, you won't be able to recognize it because your palate is destroyed from eating garbage. So it's just bottom line is, you're really, this is not an acceptable picture, but you think it is. All right, so let's go back. All right, I'm not calling anybody a garbage eater. Don't take that the wrong way. You have people that'll do that. All right, we're gonna pause there. We're gonna go back, all right? Now, we're gonna come over here, and where is my sample sheet? There it is, my sample sheet of the 47AG. Now, we're going to remove this bar light first from the screen, all right? Put it over there, take the 47AG, put it against the screen. All right, 
like so. Now we're going to step back. See, we do we do thorough demonstrations over here. We don't we don't skip. We don't do that old that uh, all that all that upscaling and all that nonsense. Mind you, projectors have never been calibrated. Now there's my screen at 16 feet away on a 200 lumen projector in 720p. You can see the screen, can't you? That is the difference of the demonstration. These, these are the kind of tests that we have to put our screens through. This is why they perform this way because they're used to being under this kind of extreme testing. Where if you have a screen that has been halfway done, had proper testing has not been done, you know, then you get that kind of result. All right, and you guys are probably saying, well, you know what, it's not fair. You didn't put the 500 watt bar light on your screen and that's not cool. Well, guess what we're gonna do? Now we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab that 500 watt bar light. And I'm gonna put that right against my screen. Like so. All right, make sure that doesn't fall over because it looked like it was about to fall. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the demonstration. And you tell me what you see once I get the camera to focus right. There's my screen again, 500 watt bar light on it. Sixteen feet back. That's where the projector's at. Now see, that's the difference between our technology and what you see today. We just screen today, man, with that bare and whatever paint mixed with a little black and whatever. Yeah, this is what you get. Design it cheap, untested, poorly made product, and this is what you get. When it comes to our technology, look how advanced our screens are. Look at that compared to the J-Mix. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You all have a good one.